Hello there, I am Giant Cool with more Earthbound. In the last part, we got to the meteor with Pokey, and we met up with Piggy and rescued him, or took him off the me mountain where the meteor was. And then we ran into a creature named Buzz Buzz who uh, traveled from 10 years into the future to come tell us this important prophecy. Important prophecies on having to stop Gaius, and um, it means that like there's three boys and one girl, power friendship. We need. We need to find two more boy team members and a girl team member to fight against Gaius. But first, we're going to go back into the Pokey and Picky's house and see if their parents are home. Hopefully their parents are home. That'd be great. That'd be good. Oh, man. They're home. They're home. Okay. Let me talk to you. Let's just go talk. Okay. What in this? What in San Hill? What in Sam Hill <laughs> have you boys been? Or where in Sam Hill? Hill, have you boys been? Okay, I've I'll have to think of a suitable punishment. Here's Pokey and Picky's dad. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. Now, I, you'll hear like a little screech or something. That's supposed to mean that the father kind of um yelled at them, but I think in like a different versions of this game, it was like like a like a kind of you know, pat sound, like spanking them, I guess. But yeah, he just punished them none nonetheless, I guess. By the way, I would be happy to if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. Oh man, that's not nice. We loaned you, we loaned your father, we we loaned your father a lot of money. It may be have been a hundred thousand dollars or more, but I guess I really could have been less. Have been less, but because of the loan, my family isn't, and I now live in poverty. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> my husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finish last. That's what. That's the story of my of our life. Uh oh, what are you doing? I I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash smash your guts out. No, not Buzz Buzz. Oh, why did you have to do that? Ugh, I was much weaker than I thought. So much now, so now you must begin your adventure. See, you. Oh, I just remembered, listening, listen to my final words. To defeat Gygas, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. They are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of the locations is a is your sanctuary. One of the one of them is near Onet. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you remember? Do you understand? Yes. All right. You are a very intelligent young man. And oh, the pain! Everything is getting dark. Ugh. Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It's it is the soundstone. You can record the melodies of the, from the eight. Your sanctions, sanctuary locations. Into, into the stone, it is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone, but did you want to hear that soy one more time? Nah, sorry, I got it. Good. Uh, it's already dawn outside, but I don't, it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Ugh. And when we get the soundstone, yeah, let's get the soundstone. And then Buzz Buzz just fades away. Okay. He's in his. He went to heaven, I think, because he was a good, but he was a good, good bug. And once you exit, exit the house of Pokey and Picky, it's, it's morning, basically. Yay! So the color palette's different, and the everything's different color. Everything's just a different color. Let's go back to our house. Oh wait, this will happen like many times in the game. It's actually pretty cool. The guy just falls from spinning out of the sky, or spinning from the sky. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius. If I don't, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, fuzzy pickles. Fuzzy pickles. Nice. Wow, what a great photograph. It was. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. And then he just goes back up to the sky, I guess. So if you go to your house, to, you can heal yourself for free by just talking to your mom. And um. 
Let's just talk to her mom, I guess. You're back. Don't bother yourself with talking now. You look tired, too tired. Mother, instinct, the, understand these things. Eat some steak and screw off to bed. So what if your favorite food was you selected to be in the game? This, that food will pop up here. So like, for my example, I chose steak as a default um uh favorite food. So go, uh, you gotta eat some steak and screw off to bed. So then, then yeah, the screen fades out to black. And with that chime, we have fully healed, which is awesome. Well, we're back up in our room, okay. That's cool. So as you see, like, 45 HP, 15 PP, so fully healed. That's awesome. And then, of course, your dad in the game helps you save the um, game and tells you, like, what, how many more experience points you need to level up and if you deposit any money in your account. So, yeah, dad. Um, I'm not gonna record yet. So I'll say not really. Okay, good luck. Click beep beep beep. Okay, I have so much fun to show off again. So again, if see on the back of your mom's house really helps with um if you wanna grind in the area around the net like this area. But I don't really wanna grind too much unless I really have to, so I'll skip out on that for now. Oh by the way, I forgot to read the sign. Okay. South to the suburbs of Onet. Okay. And every um, town in this game, or every city in this game, has like goes after a number. And I believe there's eight cities because there's eight different um, sanctuary or sanctuary spots. So um, yeah. So this is Onet or Wanet. Um, I'm not really sure. It doesn't really matter what pronunciation, but basically the same thing. It just means the first city. So yeah. So if we go over here, sometimes there's not enemies on this trail, which is good because I'm not running into enemies. That's awesome. I'm going to stop by the library first. Now let's talk to the librarian because she'll give you a really useful item. I mean, I, I fast forward again by mistake. Hi, kids can borrow our maps at the library. Do you really want to borrow one? Or do you want to borrow one? Yes, I would love to. Here's a map. Ornette isn't the only thing on the map. All the info is there except for the info that isn't there. <laughs> Obviously. Pressing the X button will allow you to view the map at any time. How convenient. You know the exponent, the exponent, not the exponent, the X button located near the top. Ha ha ha. That's got the top map. Okay, cool. So if I press the X button, which is right here. Yeah, I get a view of the own oh, Yeah, it's pretty cool. So we got, um, we're in the library right now. It shows off food and the shop and the hotel and more food buildings, a hospital. And then um, at the very bottom it says to Tucson, which is the next city, but we can't get there yet actually because there's stuff we need to do in our net still. So let's do that first. I want to show off this first. If you go upstairs and go near the bathrooms, um, this guy will like, run up and yeah, he's, he has to go pee and he went right through us. He walked right through us. Now this is making fun of how like Earthbound usually makes fun of other RPGs, like how you can't use, how there's no bathrooms in RPGs really. So that's just a little joke there, I guess. Pretty funny, pretty funny indeed. So I'm going to exit the library right now. Okay. There's a couple of things I want to do in this, still in this part, so let me see if I can get there. And then here's our net town. It's the little sign, okay. Or one net. It doesn't really matter how you pronounce it. Everyone says it's, it's like potato and potato. No, that's a bad example. It's like caramel and caramel. It really doesn't matter. That's the fast forward button again. Okay. You can actually get items to dig into the trash in this game. That's pretty cool. Let's see here. It's a hamburger inside. Nest took it. Okay. I'm not going to stop at the burger shop just yet because I feel like I'm good on items. Yeah, it should be good. Uh, maybe if in the future I might, <laughs> honestly. Maybe the next part or something. Here's a here's a payphone. You have to pay to call um, someone like such as your dad or your mom or more characters as we're going through the game. Um, let me just uh, welcome to the automatic time machine. Withdrawal. I want to kind of withdraw all my money. So... Okay, I got $83. Okay, so I want to buy a couple items, or maybe just one item. Then I got with the fast forward again. Hi, come in, come in. What, what can I do for you today? Bye. Uh, find you something? Yes, I want to buy the T-ball bat, because that's actually a better item than the cracked bat. So let me do that. T-ball bat, you want to? Yes, equipped it automatically. Ness's offense changed from 19, 9 to 13, which is pretty cool. And we sell the cracked bat for, can we sell a cracked bat for $9? Yes. Okay, cool. I got $44 left. Is there anything else for me? Um, sure. Let's buy, I guess. Let's, what else do you have? Oh, I want to buy the cheap bracelet, but I'm kind of short on cash on that. But I'll skip on it for now. 
And just in case, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, put all my money back in the ATM. Like I don't want to lose it because I think if you like collapse or you lose a fight, then you lose some of your money or something like that. Let's deposit some money. Okay, so forty-four dollars. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll deposit forty. So I have four dollars left. I guess that seems cool. Now I want to show you where you can get a baseball cap because if you saw on the list there was like a baseball cap which raises up your defenses or something. Yeah, your defenses. Um, I'm pretty sure it's called baseball cap. I'm thinking that if I press B, I can run faster, like in the running shoes and Pokemon. Ha! Huh? That's funny. That's funny. Okay, so if you go between these trees right here, wait, never mind. Okay, so go by, go between these trees right here. Kind of want to match up with that house over there. So like, if you can, it's like a little clubhouse. If you go in, um, you can talk to the guys right here, the people. I had a dream about you, and you were talking, traveling with a cute girl. If the dream comes true, say hi f to her for me. After all, I'm single. Okay, uh... I, I don't know what to say about that, I'm kind of... I... Let's go on, let's talk to this guy, okay, okay. You've gone since I last saw you. You're beginning to look like a man. You're so cool. I... I think I really like you. Well, you know what I mean. Uh, what? No, I don't know what you mean. Let's talk to me again. You know what I mean. I think, um, they made this character gay. Uh, which is okay. Because he's pretty cool. He he apparently no, watches me and watches help watches me grow or something. That's not, totally not creepy at all. Anyway, let's talk to this guy with the, like the red baseball cap or whatever. I'll give you my Mr. Baseball cap. I know you wanted it for a, while, a long time. It's the best cap for someone really brave like you. Thanks, man. The uh, Ness got the Mr. Baseball cap. I'm looking to actually equip that now. So um, other I think it is. Yeah, Mr. Baseball cap. So our yeah, defense raised up to 9, but let me try not equipping it. Yeah, our defense is 9. Ah, oh, shoot, I made that. Man. Okay, I de-equipped it. De-equip it. I don't know if that's a word. Yeah, there we go. Our defense went from 3, and then we put the cap on it, and it raises by not 6 points, and it goes back up to 9. So that's pretty cool. It's actually a really good um, defensive item this way in the game, and we won't have to replace it for a while, so that's good. If I can just get all these trees, okay. Okay, I'm trying to think. I think I got everything I want to do in this part, but I could be wrong. I could be so wrong. Okay, um, I think the sharks are gonna come up, which is like the gang members in, o uh, in Onet. I'm gonna call it Onet because I always pronounce it Onet. But you can call it Onet if you want. It's like caramel and caramel, like I said before. Okay, I'm trying to find the hotel. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna just use the phone at the hotel because I don't have to pay f for it and uh, I don't have to pay for like in the, um, the drugstore, like where we sell that payphone. So let's uh, talk to Ness picked up the receiver. We can also talk to mom, which we'll do real quick actually. Ness picked up the receiver. Is this, is that you Ness? You called me back sooner than I thought. Everyone here is doing just fine. Oh yes, Teresa started working part time at Escapo Escargo Express I think. Here, I'll let you talk to her, and call me when you have some time. Oh, you don't have any free time? Well, here's Tracy. Oh, that's kind of depressing. No, you don't have any free time to talk to your mom? That's kind of sad. Hello, this is Escargo Express. Oh, is that you, Ness? Big bro, it's me, Tracy. I've been working part-time for Espresso Exca Escargo Express. I don't know why I can't pronounce that. What you like to do? Um, uh, not neither one of them, because I don't want to get into that yet, actually. I don't think I can haven't can even function with that or do anything with delivering or pickups, but yeah, our little sister or our sister. I don't know. I don't know if it's pronounced if it's her little, or little sister or for the same age if it's her older sister. I think it's the same age or younger sister. But she, she's been working part time at a job. Good for her, you know. It's good to start working young if you can, if you're able to. I guess if you want the money too, that's also another, you know, um, you know, um, motivation motivator I guess you could say so I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna save in, in between parts obviously so I don't have a fair recording or whatever so yeah spin that in my earthbound let's play part and next part will take on um, more of a net hopefully maybe deal with some sharks or something so this is Vinjago again I would like to thank you again goodbye and I'll see you guys next part of my earthbound let's play